Hello guys, welcome back to FlurryCraft. So today I will be showing you how to delay command blocks. So for example, you want to activate a command, but you don't want it to actually do anything for 30, 40 seconds, then that's what you can do. It does not use any complicated redstone or the scoreboard command, so it's pretty simple. And even beginners when it comes to commands should be able to do this. It's really not that difficult, so. Let's get into the video. Now the first step, which does seem a little strange, but place down armor stand or literally any entity you want to use. Recommend armor stand, doesn't move, doesn't make sound, and then block it off because if another entity that has a potion effect gets there, it can mess stuff up. And I'll get into that in a second. Next, get the coordinates of where the entity is because this is going to be used in the command and go ahead and copy and paste it just so it's a little easier and you don't have to remember. Next, we're going to set up a command what this command will do is check the entity that we set up and if there's a potion effect it will check how much time the potion effect has left before it runs out and we can choose how much time we want but if it matches that then it will run the command so first type execute positioned the coordinates of the entity you placed and this could be a mob on armor stand whatever you would like if entity at E, NBT equals active effects, and make sure you get all the brackets and colons or anything. And I will have this in the in the pinned comment and description so that you can type this right. Duration. And here is the most important part, and so I'll explain it for a little bit. So here you're going to put how much time you want to be left before the potion effects will run out on the mob. So you'll give the mob a potion effect and that's when the timer starts for your command. So you can't really put zero. So if you put one, then that means right before the potion effect runs off, the, the command will run. And also remember the time, you are not putting it in seconds, you're putting it in ticks. There are 20 ticks per second. So if you put one, then there's 1 20th of a second left before the potion effect runs off. So say you give the mob a potion effect for 20 seconds, then that's a 20 second timer right there. You can also do it a higher number. So say you put 100, that means that the command will run five seconds before the potion effect runs off. So if you give the entity a potion effect for 20 seconds and you have it set to 100, then that's a 15 second timer and there will still be five seconds of the potion remaining afterwards. So that's how that works. So here I'm just going to put one. Then we're going to put comma distance equals period period one, meaning that it's looking at the coordinates where the entity is and it's only looking for entities within one block. And so basically that means that you can actually have other players have potion effects and not mess with the commands. So that's why that's important. And for the last part, just put run. And this part, whatever um, command you just want to be delayed, here I'm just going to do slash say because that's a pretty simple command. You can do slash tp slash literally whatever Minecraft command exists that you're trying to use this for. Lastly, make sure it's set to repeat unconditional and does not need redstone so that it is constantly checking for the state of the entity to know the if the potion effect has run out. Now what we're going to do is go over to where the entity is and we're going to do slash effect give see that string of characters that's going to be its name doesn't matter what effect you do and I'm going to do five seconds although do however long you want so after five seconds the command should go up and you can see it says time's up and that's the command I set it to do. So it worked after five seconds. So now I'm just going to basically copy and paste this whole command. And I think it, just to show that you can do it is go ahead and make a timer. So what we'll do is through, along the way, as it's losing the potion effect, then these commands will be going off. So it's going to say five because it's a countdown. And here I changed the one to a 100, although later on I decided to test it with exactly five seconds. So you can't start out with five seconds, which is 100 ticks, and have it go off at 100 ticks. So I lowered that to 99. That works fine. And you can still do 100 as long as you have more time to start with. I just tested it using five and I noticed that I did that later. So then I did the rest of the countdown. So the one that says four goes off at 80 ticks or four seconds left. The one that says three goes off at 60 ticks or three seconds left. 
two goes off at 40 ticks, one goes off at 20 ticks, and the one I showed you first, the one that says time's up, that goes off at one tick when, well, the time is up. Okay, so remember when we gave the entity an effect? Now I'm just gonna put this in a command block for convenience. So after testing this with five seconds and changing this to a 99, as mentioned earlier, so now everything is ready. It is a wonderful, beautiful moment. Time to press the button. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. And that's basically how it works. So you can see all the commands ran as the time for the potion ran out. So I hope this video helped you some. Thank you for watching and I hope that it wasn't too confusing. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have any suggestions for tutorials or literally any video ideas at all, comment below. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and bye.